Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can transfer files and photos from your iPhone over to an external hard drive. So in this video, we'll cover how to do this on newer iPhones with the USB-C port and older iPhones with the lightning port connection. Now I have put chapters in this video because depending on whether you have the newer iPhone or the older iPhone, the methods will be different. So you can skip to whatever part of the video is relevant to you. So first things first, you're going to need an external hard drive to plug into your phone to transfer the files. So there's a few options when it comes to where you wanna store your files. There's an SSD like this one here, and you can see how tiny that is. And then you also have a external hard drive like this. Now, I would always recommend an SSD just because these are more reliable, they're faster, but they are slightly more expensive. So you need to think about that. But these ones here are also good, but they do have a spinning disc in them. So they're more likely to fail. I've been using this one for years and it's never failed, but I have had other hard drives that have failed on me. So that's just something to keep in mind. But if you already have one of these lying around, you can definitely use that to store your photos and files on. But if you're gonna go out and buy something new, I would recommend getting an SSD. This one here is the Crucial X9 Pro. This is just what I have been using for the last couple of years and I really like it. I'll leave everything linked in the description, but yeah, obviously you don't need to buy this one. You can go and purchase anything you like. So with the SSDs, they come with a USB-C cable. So this is perfect if you just want, if you have the newer iPhone and you just want to plug it directly in, you don't need any extra adapters or anything like that. But if you're using an older hard drive like this one here, uh, they usually come with the older USB-A cables, so we'll need some adapters and stuff like that, but we'll get into that in the video. So let's jump over to the phone and I'm gonna show you how to do it on the newer iPhone with the USB-C, and then we're gonna get into how to do it with the older iPhones. Okay, so to get started, you will need your hard drive. We're gonna be using this SSD with the USB-C connection and this is my iPhone 16 Pro with the USB-C. If you have an older hard drive like this with the USB-A connection, you will just need to get yourself an adapter and this will have the USB-A on it so you can plug this in and then the USB-C will go straight into your phone and everything will be the same as using one of these hard drives. Also, you could also use a usb with one of these adapters if you only had to copy a couple of files over. So you wanna plug in your hard drive and most hard drives will have a light indicator that you can see when it's plugged in and powered on. If you're using the older hard drives, it might take a minute for it to start up before you see the light, but SSDs are really fast, so you can see it already there. And then you wanna to go to files and in here you can see my hard drive is the X9 Pro and your one will be called whatever brand your hard drive is. So if you click on that, I can see my files already in there. If you wanna make a new folder so you can organize your files, you'll come up to these dots and go new folder. And then we can just call this one photo backup or whatever you like. So now we have an empty folder where we can transfer our photos. So what you wanna do is you wanna go out of the file app and open up your photos app. So once you're in the photo app, you wanna select the photos that you wanna to transfer to the hard drive. So you hit the select button and then you can press and you can press on one and then drag your finger to whatever photos you wanna copy. Um, if they're just sort of random, you can go through like this. If you want all your photos, you can sort of just click and drag up. And so then once you have the photos you wanna copy, you come down to this icon here, and then you want to scroll down and go save to file. And then see, it's already selected my X9 Pro, but if it didn't, you just go back and you find the location that you wanna copy it to. So that's my SSD, the X9 Pro and I wanna put it in my photo backup. And then you come up here and you click save. So now if we go out and back into our files to our hard drive, you can see my photos have copied over. If you wanna find documents that you've downloaded and stuff like that, you just go into 
file and if it's saved on your iPhone it will be under on my iPhone but if it's saved on the iCloud like maybe from your MacBook or anything like that it will be under iCloud so if we just go on my iPhone you can search in your folders and find it and then it's just going to be the same if you want to copy files it's going to be the same but you're going to come up to this menu here and go select and then you can select the files that you want to copy and then we're going to come to this folder and then we're going to go back and find the SSD and for this I'll just pop it in the photo folder but you could make like a documents folder and then we'll go copy. It still kept them on my iPhone but it's just copied it over to my hard drive. If you want to save space on your iPhone you'd need to then come back and go select and then you can hit the little trash icon and delete the documents that you've moved over to your SSD. It's always good just to go back and check your files are on the SSD before you delete anything from your phone. So that's how you copy photos and files over to your SSD. To remove your SSD, I just close out of the apps. I swipe up and then I close out of them properly. And then if you lock your phone, you will see the light on the SSD will turn off. It just takes a second. Okay, and then once the light's off, then you can remove it. Okay, so I'm going to be using an iPad for this demonstration because I don't have an iPhone with a lightning port, but it's exactly the same with an iPhone, uh, but you can also do this on an iPad. So the things you're going to need are this adapter here, and this has a lightning port connection on it. And then on the other end, we have USB-A and another lightning, but we don't actually need this port for anything. So what you're going to do is you're going to connect this one into your phone or iPad. Then next you will need a USB hub that has power into it. This cord here is the power connection that's plugged into the wall socket and it's going to be powering this USB hub. So you can see each one of these USB ports we can turn on or off if we have a device connected to it. And then we're gonna be plugging this USB into this adapter. So this one's going to go straight into here. So now this is pushing power straight to the iPad, which is what's needed because these ports can't power a hard drive like the USB-C ones can. Once you have that part connected, then you wanna grab your hard drive and then you can just plug it into any of these USB ports and then this one we need to power it on. Then you can see here it's powered on the hard drive and you can tell by this light turning on. So then if we go to our iPad we can go to files and then if you hit this little icon here at the top it's going to open the side menu and you can see the hard drive has picked up here. And so that's how you connect a hard drive that has a USB-A connection. To connect an SSD that has a USB-C connection to your iPhone or iPad that has a lightning port, what you're going to need to do is pull out this cable and then you can see here there's a USB-C connection and then what you're going to need is a USB-C to USB-A cable. So then this part is going to go into the SSD. And then we're going to plug this part over into our hub. And then I'm going to turn my hub on and you'll see this one will light up. Oh, you can see that one there has a light on it so it's powered up. And then we can go into files. We'll just hit this little side menu. And then you can see my X9 Pro, which is this hard drive here, has appeared. And all my files are right there. And if you want to disconnect your hard drive, all you need to do is close out of the file app. And if you're in like photos or anything like that, close out of all of that. And then you want to lock your iPad or your phone. And then if you wait a second, you will see this light will switch off. Okay, so that's switched off. And we can disconnect it and it's safe to remove. Okay, so before we finish up, I just wanted to cover a few troubleshooting tips um, in case you come across any issues when trying to transfer your files. So the first issue you may come across is you might plug your hard drive into your phone and your phone just doesn't detect the hard drive. Uh, the first thing it could be is that the hard drive 
has been formatted in the wrong format. So your iPhone can only read certain formats. So the format that you wanna use on your hard drive is XFAT. Now XFAT is great because it's compatible with iOS devices. So you can use it on your iPhone and your iPad. It will also work on your Mac, a Windows computer, and it's also compatible with Android. So you wanna make sure your hard drive is formatted with XFAT. If it does have another format on it, you're going to need to use a computer to change the format. And one other thing to also note when changing a format on a hard drive is that it's going to erase everything off of that hard drive. So make sure if there are files on there, connect it to a computer and transfer the files off of the hard drive onto the computer then format the hard drive because it's going to erase everything. Or the other option could be just go buy a new hard drive that's just for your iPhone and make sure it's formatted in XFAT. So another common issue you might come across is the files won't transfer across to your hard drive. And the two main things I can think of are that your hard drive is full so there's just not enough space on it. So you might need to delete some things off of your hard drive. And the other thing is that the files you're trying to transfer may have some restrictions to them, which will stop you from transferring them off of your phone. So let's say uh, like Apple Music files, they will have restrictions on them. So you don't take the music files from Apple Music over to your phone, even though I don't know if you can actually do that, but that's just an example. But if they're just downloaded files that you've downloaded from the internet, like PDFs and Word documents and stuff like that, you won't have a problem. And also your photos, you shouldn't have a problem transferring that. Uh, the other issue you might come across is just really slow transfer speeds when you're copying files. So this could be because you have an older hard drive and it's just not compatible with the faster speeds. And also the older iPhones are going to have slower transfer speeds as well. So to get around this, you can just copy your files in smaller batches. So instead of copying all of your photos at once over, just break it down into groups and copy it over that way. This way it will be a lot quicker trying to transfer the files than if you were to select everything and copy it in one hit, you might be waiting for hours. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get to you. And I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.